What's up guys, JP here once again, and this is going to be day 17 in my 31 Days of Horror video series. Um, tonight I decided to go with another classic, and it is The Return of the Living Dead. Uh, one of my all-time favorite, well actually it is my favorite zombie film of all time, and it's definitely, you know, one of my favorite horror films in general. Uh, probably top 10 maybe. I forget where I had it on that one list, but... Um, I, I would probably consider this a top 10 favorite. Um, it's so, such a fun movie. Uh, it's one that I can watch over and over again and never really get tired of. I've been wanting to watch it all month. Um, and even before that, I, I kind of was just saving it for some time, you know, later in the month of October. But I think it's finally time to watch it. Um, you know, kind of pumped. Uh, I love watching this movie. Uh, I got it in a three pack here with 28 days later and 28 weeks later and um, it almost feels like I'm not doing the film right because I should probably have a better edition of it. Um, I'll definitely probably get a Blu-ray or something eventually. Actually, I, I did have a collector's edition of this film once before. Um, back in the day, I, I, I had a, um, I think it was like the collector's edition and uh, I let my friend borrow it and I, I talked about this before but his room caught on fire one day and I lost a bunch of my DVDs in there this was a long time ago um, but yeah anyway The Return of the Living Dead uh, I, I really like the chemistry with uh, Frank and uh, Tom Matthews character Freddy um, I like how they go back and forth and stuff uh, Tom Matthews I really like to begin with I, I wish I, he would have did some more horror stuff um, you know I really like him as Freddy uh, He's my favorite, Tommy Jarvis. I even like him in uh, Return of the Living Dead Part 2. Uh, just awesome. Um, I remember when I was a kid, the scene where uh, Frank is telling Freddy about uh, how the canisters got in the basement. I remember that always being really creepy and uh, really set the mood for the movie and, you know, got me scared and stuff as a kid. Uh, really awesome stuff there. Um, just all around, you know, the whole movie, the the cast is great, the music is great, the setting, you know, the cemetery and stuff is awesome. Even the zombies, uh, you know, I like the how they, you know, did something different where they're not like the traditional zombies where, you know, one shot in the head and they're done. Um, so, you know, I, I like how they're so hard to deal with. Um, yeah, that's it, just everything about it, really. I, I've always been a big fan of this movie. Um, I'm a bit tired now, but, you know, once I start watching it, it's going to, you know, wake me right up. I, I always love watching this movie, and I'm going to have a good time with it, and, uh, you know, I'll talk about it more when I get done watching it, so peace out. Okay, guys, so The Return of the Living Dead came out in 1985, directed by Dan O'Bannon, and the film starts up with Freddy and Frank. Uh, Freddy's kind of a young kid who is... Um, just got a job at a medical warehouse supply type thing and uh, they're running through the things that he's gonna be doing you know um, showing all the weird stuff that they got eventually he asked uh, Frank which is you know his uh, boss at the time you know what's the weirdest stuff that ever came through here or whatever uh, Frank tells him that there was uh, that the movie Night of the Living Dead was based on a real case and uh, it had to do with some chemical, and the chemical accidentally got shipped to their place, and it's in the basement. So they go down there the, to look at it, and uh, they they tap on the container, and the gas and the chemical, the gas stuff leaks out. They fall to the ground. So after the gas leaks out, it pretty much knocks them out, and they're laying on the floor for a while. And basically, what happens is the gas tur turns anything that's dead back it alive, you know, pretty much the zombie thing, but it doesn't just work on people, it works on dogs and uh, insects and all kind of stuff. Uh, so basically what happens after that is they, it, they pretty much, it's a snowball effect. Uh, everything just keeps getting worse and worse and they keep causing more problems. And that's what I like about this movie. You know, you kind of feel bad for uh, the characters because they just keep making everything worse and it just keeps getting a bigger and bigger problem and they probably could have fixed it right away if they would have you know made a couple different moves um, uh, besides that there's also uh, Freddy's friends are a, uh, at the nearby cemetery 
and uh, they're like kind of partying and stuff. They're waiting for Freddy to get off. A really cool group of interesting people. Uh, you know, it got the uh, famous Linnea Quigley graveyard uh, dancing naked scene, um, which probably everybody knows about. Um, I, I really like all the characters, like Spider and, um, you know, Suicide's funny. It just just a, a colorful group of people. And then uh, basically what happens is uh, it, zombies start popping up everywhere. It's a zombie movie. It's an awesome zombie movie. It is kind of a horror comedy, but I think that this movie is one of the best uh, horror comedies in the way of mixing the horror and comedy like perfect because it the 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 comedy doesn't take you out of the horror and it's still scary and it's just a perfect mix it's not like in your face over the top funny stuff it's just kind of subtle things that may not even come off funny to some people um but just are like i i, I just think there's so many classic funny moments in this movie um, that don't seem like funny moments, and that's what I'm trying to get at. Um, it, it's an all-around perfectly blended uh, horror and comedy. Um, also, you know, the zombies are, are, are you know, I, I don't know for sure, but f uh, I want to say these are some of the first, like, fast zombies, and, um, you know, way before uh, some of the other movies that use the, the fast zombies. These are smarter zombies. They... Um, they don't eat everything, they just eat brains. Um, just a really unique kind of uh, different spin on, on the zombies before there was anything else doing it, uh, at least to my knowledge. And uh, I really like that about it. it uh, I, I'm normally a slow zombie type of guy, but I think that the zombies are just done so well in this movie. I, I just have so much fun with this movie the whole time. I love the characters, all the characters, they're all great. Um, like every character in this movie is, is awesome. The acting solid. Uh, the music is great. The gore is is really good. You know, uh, the Tar Man zombie is just <laughs> really. Uh, I remember being a kid watching that, and I remember that that thing scared the hell out of me. Um, just I don't know what it was about it. It was the face and the way it moved. Uh, you know, the whoever played the Tar Man did a great job. I love the back and forth between. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, but the back and forth between Freddie and Frank. I just think it's so funny. Um, you know, uh, Freddie when he's like, uh, they're talking about the 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 movie, the Night of the Living Dead, and they're trying to kill a zombie, and they you know. Uh, take out its brain, but it doesn't die. He's like, you mean the movie lied? <laughs> I just think that movie, that line is so funny. I laugh every time. This really isn't so much of a review. It started out as a review, but now I'm just kind of geeking out over Return of the Living Dead. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite movies. I, I can watch it over and over again. I can watch it right now and, and still enjoy it, you know, as much as I did when I watched it last night. Um, to me, this movie's a five, uh, you know, it, it's one of my favorite movies. It's a five out of five to me. I, I just love it. It's so much fun. Uh, and the Ernie character, when you first see him, he's just, uh, in his, uh, mortuary or whatever, and he got his pipe and his Walkman on. It's just so, so funny, but it doesn't seem like it's meant to be funny. I don't know. I, I'm done. Uh, anyway, peace out guys. Talk to you guys later. All that good stuff.